Okay, we've got the Captain America of crappie fishing. Ronnie Caps here. He and his par partner Steve Coleman have won over a million dollars in tournament crappie fishing. They've won several national, seven national championships, over a hundred tournaments. Ronnie, what's the deepest water you've ever caught crappie in? And are we li a lot of times missing the boat because we're not fishing really, really deep water for crappie? Without a doubt, uh, and there's no reason for not doing that now. All the technology we got with the side scan, you can locate fish deep as they get, and they live. I'd have to say, I, it, when you mentioned that, it, it locked in with me. I, I was fishing a classic in June, and I was at Percy Priest Lake in Nashville, Tennessee, and I was fishing on the main Stones River Channel on um, some cedar growth, cedar trees, basically that were there before the, the, the lake was flooded, impounded. And uh, I found a, 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 a group of fish that was unreal in about 63 foot of water out there. So wow. it, was, uh, it was a one pole deal. Uh, as soon as you, it was almost like bottom fishing on the ocean. When you got your bait into the bush, it was time to reel it up because one was on it. It was awesome. And you know, nobody really ever taps into those deep fish like that. But um, another thing, another factor that comes into play when you start fishing deep, whether it's any time of year, um, spring, summer, winter, fall, those fish that you catch will not be able to survive once you pull them out of that deep water unless you deflate their air bladder. And uh, that is a, that's a negative when you are fishing deep like that and you have to cold fish and ba basically pitch them back in um, because they're too small or for whatever reason, they won't make it usually. And uh, popping the air bladder is, a, is an awesome um, thing to do, you know, as far as not having a fish kill behind your boat. Uh, if you don't, it'll look like a fish kill because it was like one behind the other for us there that day, and I was popping as many as I could. And um, I have a device for doing that now, by the way, that B&M has out. It's called the, um, uh, it's, it's a Caps and Coleman uh, crappie saver. It's B&M, b and has, has manufactured it. But it, uh, other than measure your fish, it'll give you an, basically an estimated weight of the fish. It'll, it'll give you an estimated age of the fish. But the biggest thing was, it has a, a guide on it, an air bladder deflation guide that will let you not make a mistake at deflating the air bladder. Uh, basically, you put your fish in it and line him up according to his length and put a needle in a hole according to his length, and the job's done. Uh, you can pitch your fish back in the lake or back in your live well, and he'll live. So be careful fishing deep. That's, that's the only thing I can tell you there and because um, they won't live long unless you plan on eating them. You know, pop their bladder and let them live. What, what time of year are you fishing really, really deep? It's usually post-spawn uh, before you end up getting a thermocline set up in, in a lake. It's, it's late, late June, talking about mid-June maybe, mid to late June is, uh, is when we caught those at Percy Priest. Uh, during the middle of the winter, they're going to be at the same depths. You, you'd be surprised what you can catch in 50, 60 foot of water on some of these reservoirs in Tennessee and eastern Tennessee for sure. Okay.